So yeah, hello guys. Today we're touching inheritance, right? Inheritance is more like, how can I call it? It's more like you have a class which can take something else from another class, which is inheritance. Or I can define it as a game example. Let's say you have a game item, right? And then that item can be either a weapon, can be a paper, can be a book or a consumable, right? So okay, let's write. Let me just show you directly. Here um, in our code, I'm, I'm gonna create a class called um, game item, right? And then I will add to a um, variable, a string name and an interval of that game item. And now I can add a function in this game item called print formation again. So now from our game item, I will now derive the class called weapon, right? Which we can use, it will inherit from game item. For inheritance, you need to always, okay, before writing a class, you put this a, a colon, right? And then you add a public, now the class where it will derive from. Yeah, so um, this inheritance in C++. Basically now I can add other functionalities to the weapon, but this is still a game item, okay? As you'll see here, we have something strange. With inheritance, some parameters or some variables can be passed through a class. As you can see here, our weapon is taking a name. We don't have name here. We don't have name in our class. Uh, we just have damage as a variable, but we can still access to the name. And you see, right? I could even add the value here, but I didn't call it, right? We can access to the name. And yeah, which is something really good. You can access even some function. I can even call here print info, which will be taken from game item, which got that function. Okay, so in our main function, let me add. Mm, I will call this word Excalibur even. As you'll see here, this word, it's got that print info uh, function, but we didn't have it in our class weapon, right? As this word, this word is a weapon, but that print info is from the game item. So uh, this is basically what an inheritance is. You take things from one class, you pass it to another class, right? Yeah, now I can print this one. And you'll see that our Excalibur is worth 500 gold, then it's attack and deal 50 damage, right? That's all. This basically is inheritance. And when you're working in a project in Unreal or in, let me see, uh, CryEngine, right? You'll see majority of classes, they are inherited or they are derived from something else. You'll see a player is a is a class from objects, objects is a class from something else. It's like a tree of things, so you need to be careful what you're doing. When you're working with inheritance, right? Always know the parent class. I mean, the first class. Always know it's why. Because you can have some missing stuff uh let me think you can okay you can see values let me say you create here a damage in the game item damage then here create another damage and then you won't know which damage you kind of using so it avoids kind of duplicating um variables in different uh, classes when you're dealing with inheritance okay so guys um i think that this all for this small video guys thank you again see you for the next video Ciao.